Hey guys, Josh here again, and today we have a Icarus Week 37 update video. This week they added 21 new attachments, armor attachments, to the Alteration Bench, and also made some changes to crossbows. Let's get into it, shall we? So Icarus Week 37 attachment systems number 2. Icarus Week 37 update, 21 new armor attachments to craft. Armor attachments have been added to the alteration bench, and we've added buffs for crossbows and projectiles. 21 new armor attachments are the feature of this week's 37 update, scaling out the new system to include unique perks and buffs for your character's wearables alongside our weapons and tools attachments from week 35. Choose from standard buffs such as aerodynamics, storm visors for efficiency, to specialized perks such as tracking chips, all available on the alteration bench. We've also made a range of buffs and improvements to the performance of crossbows and other projectiles at your feedback. So have a read below about what you could expect along with some detail about the future of the attachment system. So they added 21 new armor attachments. We'll go over those very shortly. They have the supplemental respiration attachment, storm visor attachment, supplemental filtration attachment, calibrated grip, aerodynamic, rubberized noise suppression pockets, plating, tracking, nutrition, recovery, and their advanced counterparts. Now, one of the key differences on this update with the armor attachments is that they are slot specific, meaning only certain attachments can be attached to a certain piece of armor and not universal across all. Be aware of this when crafting them, as you'll need all five attachments to fit all five different armor pieces of a set. Similar to the tools and weapons, we've added a new UI feature, which shows that which attachments could attach to which item and if an armor piece has an active attachment or not. And of course the attachment system they say has been a large success as they've seen many players jump in and use the new feature. Don't forget to always give them your feedback as far as which attachments you love and which ones you'd like to see. You could use the feature upvote or just discuss it with them on their Steam forums or the Discord. They did give us a sneak peek of the next stage of the attachment systems and they said they're working on attachments for in-game range weapons. So keep your eyes on the updates for when those come. And they did change the critical and crossbows this week. Last week's critical hit and crossbow update was a fun one, but when the release, they definitely needed to make some tweaks and changes to them. So they did actually balance the way that the criticals and crossbows happen, but they did actually buff crossbows, adding more damage to the crossbows. And they added innate features such as the chance to slow perk and more firepower than their archery bow counterparts when hitting the hardened areas of a foe, which means that they should be worth the higher cost, making them a viable option for people. They also tweaked a little bit of the weapon talents like soft spot, soft spot two, deadly thrust one and deadly thrust two and deadly stab. So we're going to show you guys real quick every single one of the new attachments and kind of give you an idea of what they do and what you get when you craft them. Of course, you could craft them either in the advanced alteration bench or of course you could craft the basic ones in the alteration bench. As you can see, it is kind of color coded, so it's not so complicated, but it is quite a few in there to scroll down through. You have weapon attachments, of course, being red and armor attachments being green. So we're gonna show you real shortly just what each attachment is. Of course, we have the supplemental respiration attachment. Gives you 30% health regen in caves and plus 25% chance to resist pneumonia. And as you can see here, there is now a UI that tells you where you can attach things. So this could be attached to a helmet. This goes for the previous update, week 35. The weapons, it'll show you what down the very bottom. This one can all be attached to a hammer. That's a pickaxe. That's a scythe. That's a knife and a hatchet. As you can see, it'll tell you what items you can attach it to. That's very, very neat in my opinion. But back to the armor attachments. Uh, you also have the advanced supplemental, which gives you 60% health regen in caves and plus 50% chance to resist pneumonia. Half a chance to resist pneumonia sounds like a good deal to me. Uh, but you can also easily counter those with pills or tonics. Storm visor attachments uh, gives you 20% stam regen during a storm and plus 5% exposure resistance. Can be attached to your helmet and the advanced is 40% and 
You also have the supplemental filtration attachment, which gives you plus 30% chance to resist poison and minus 10% water consumption can be applied to your helmet. The advanced version of that gives you 60% chance to resist poison and negative 20% water consumed. You got the calibrated grip attachment, negative 15% stamina consumed by tool actions, and minus 10% wear rate of items can be attached to your gloves on your outfit. And of course, it's 30 and 20% with the advanced version. The aerodynamic attachment can be attached to your pants and your feet, it looks like. Gives you a plus 15% climbing speed, negative 15% stamina consumed by jumping, and plus 15% swimming speed. You can also use the advanced version, which is 30, 30, and 30. Seems like basically the advanced version is double what the basic version will do. The rubberized attachment is plus 10% falling resistance and a chance to avoid sprain when taking fall damage can be applied to your hands and your feet. Of course, the advanced rubberized is double. Noise suppression attachment, uh, negative 10% perceived threat while stealth and plus 10% crouch moving speed this will be placed on your chest legs and feet of course double for the events 20 and 20 the pockets attachment these actually fi add five pounds of weight capacity to your hands chest or legs and give you plus two inventory slots and of course the advanced version will give you 10 and four slots you got the plating attachment, which gives you health regeneration, plus 20%, and plus 5 physical resistance. Apply to your chest and your legs, and of course, double for the advanced. The tracking attachment, I thought this one was quite interesting, and I think it's actually worth it, to be honest with you. Uh, the tracking attachment, you can see world bosses on the map, and gives you plus 15% critical damage. This could be applied to your helmet. You also have the nutrition attachment. This is plus one space in your stomach and plus 10% food effects duration. And this could be added to your chest piece. This is also something I'm gonna craft just for the sheer fact that I wanna see if I can actually have five food buffs on me at one time. And you also have the recovery attachment. This is a minus 20% bacterial afflictions duration, negative 20% parasitic afflictions duration, negative 20% physical trauma afflictions duration, and negative 20% poison, and can be attached to your helmet or your chest piece. So we got some armor here. We're gonna go ahead and try to put some of these attachments on and check them out. Uh, one of them is chest piece, one of them is legs, and one of them is helmet. So, so we're going to go ahead and throw on this gear here. And check out all these new attachments that we have. So, unfortunately, we're in an outpost. And as you can see, there's no world boss on the map. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you guys that one. But it is in there. And it will show you the world boss if you do have it in a, on a map that has world bosses. The plus 15% critical damage, though, seems to be pretty nice. Also, we're going to make sure that we have five food buffs, or see if we can have five food buffs. And we can, guys. As you can see there, we have five food buffs on at one time. <laughs> That's insane. This could open up a plethora of options, guys. I mean, if you have the fourth buff, which is in your talents, and in the cooking and farming, down here for food pyramid, this will give you five buffs. So if you add it to your armor, you'll have four. With the food pyramid, you'll have five. Five food buffs. Could you guys imagine how insane this is to have five food buffs? Say if we had five of the best foods in the game, then we would have five of the best buffs on us at all times. Guys, it looks like I could probably jump for days. And it won't use that much stamina. This is flat level, as you can see. It's totally flat in my outpost. Yeah. So I could definitely see the inflammation of them adding the 30% climbing speed and negative 20 or negative 30% stamina consumed by jumping. But with everything said, just to let you guys know, you cannot put attachments still on made items like workshop items. As you can see here, it says no attachments present. And of course we have the change log for this week. I will go over what the most important things in the change log are. They added several descriptions for the new items, the new armor attachments. They did add smoke to the fire chimneys whenever they're active. And underneath the fix for this week, they may have added a new durability pull for looks like the targets and it says set target dummy 
and target bullseye to use a higher durability row. And of course, down here it says again, fix the chimney cap, not generating smoke if placed above a chimney extension. Also, they mention here the electric extractor stays active after removal of the generator is attached to after relog. Ensures energy networks register correctly on reload. This prevents possible exploits with picking up the generator on an active network. Of course, they reworked a little bit of the damage calculations for critical hits. Here's something interesting. It looks like they fixed rifle rounds, incendiary rifle rounds, and pistol rounds using the wrong collision asset. When fired and shots fired using these ammo types should now be significantly more accurate. Doesn't affect the initial weapon or movement inaccuracies. They also added to the mission last week the range mission to include an essentials chest with food, oxygen, and water. So now you don't have to get food, oxygen, and water. You could just kind of drop down and chill and check out the essentials box and the weapons box. Get that now. It looks like they did have the attachment slots from workshop armor but for some reason they removed it and in the future content looks like we have mega trees coming they were submitting a predator bird carcass and textures some more mentions of quadrupeds some more works on the biomes that we had mentioned before looks like they're gonna add lava rivers and geothermal pools right down below that added a baby moa base setup and assets for the prototype inflammation and another mention of mangrove trees and guys that's it for this week don't forget if you like what you see to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff guys we have over 700 subscribers you guys are amazing thank you so much for subscriptions to the channel thank you guys so much for the best wishes for us for our covid looks like we're kind of on the tail end of it now we still probably won't have a stream tomorrow or today, I guess. Technically, it's Saturday, and sorry for the video being late. But next week, we'll be back to normal. So hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.